Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Now this video is on the GoPro because uh, my other camera's full and my laptop's almost out of storage so I need to buy a hard drive. So yeah, friending problems. Um, just got back from the Van Life Festival. I say back from, there's nowhere I can go to. I've come up to Anglesey to my friends again. Um, he's had to shoot down because they're, uh, they're in the last few days of moving up here and uh, their whole business as well. So um, I'm going to crack on removing my exhaust because I've bought the new stainless system. Because everyone always comments on how low the exhaust is. And as you can see, it's pretty much hitting that rock on the floor there. So, yeah, my aim is to take off that because they're all rusty bolts, obviously, because they get hot and seized. Reweld one patch that I bodged right at the end. Lanagard the whole outside of the chassis. Cavity wax the inside of the chassis and put the new exhaust on. And the reason I'm doing the exhaust as well is because one of the brackets needs cutting off and rewelding on. So obviously better to do before I treat the whole chassis. Now the thing is, is there is a... So here, I'm going to take this joint off, which is going to be fun because as you can see it's very rusted. Um, and then the new one is just going to stainless clamp onto there. The only issue is, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but round here... <sighs> Yeah, you can see a bit of black, and that's basically because fumes are leaking out of there. So I need to fix that, um, because oh, this is stain. This is the flexi, and then, uh, yeah. And then it's gonna come down this side of the prop shaft, rather than doing all these 90s. And there's gonna be a straight through silencer, and then it's gonna come out just before the wheel there. Um, and it's the bracket on the front of that, or the back of that muffler that needs to move to the, this side of the prop shaft. That's the only one that needs to move. That one there can be chopped off because we won't need that one because there's one here. And uh, as you can see, this is the patch that I, I didn't do properly. You can see the outline of it. Um, so that's neat. But it's not too bad because it's double skinned and the inner skin was okay. So it just needs, it's basically I cut the, the hole too small so it's still really thin. So you just need to cut it bigger on the corner and then uh, reweld it in. And that will be nice and solid, that will. Yeah, the weekend of Van Life Festival. Apologies for all the crap on the lens, I've just realised. Yeah, the weekend of Van Life Festival with the Merc convoy and the whole street we had, it, oh, it was so fun. Uh, I didn't film the Van Life Festival properly. It was a good, most well organised van festival I've been to, if I'm going to be honest, even though it was still unorganised speaking to someone who was part of it. Um, but yeah, it was still, it was, it was a good one. Um, and yeah, the, the Merc convoy was a highlight. But for now, I'm going to crack on trying to remove this exhaust and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Now that's the easy bit because I've had most of them off before. As I say, the hardest bit is now separating this joint here. Longer handle, so this one's more convenient for under the van. Try not to hit the camera while I'm at it. Bit of a hole there now. We try and rip that off so it's a bit easier because I've got all this pipe behind me now. I think I'm just going to get the grinder on here. But one thing I did want to see is what it sounds like. <laughs> the, the. That's loud. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that loud when I've finished my thing, otherwise I'll have to put the old silence back on. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah. Okay, so under here, as you can see, lovely new welded patch in there. 
that's nice and strong that's made of three mil plate that is so that's stronger than the chassis uh, painted with the bitumen paint and just touched up a few bits the brackets and stuff and then what we did here is I had to weld in the mount from that side so I had to cut that painted that and then here I had to weld it back in and uh, yeah we've taken the exhaust off because my friend's got some exhaust paste to put in the joints when we push them together so that they're sealed um, we had to fix that rust hole which I did a bit of filming of and then to prevent that happening again we welded the bracket on so water can't get in there and then we're going to paint that tomorrow with some um, uh, exhaust paint my friend's got and then uh, yeah some nice fresh bolts in the exhaust manifold as well because they're all rusty um, and yeah overall smartened her up again as per usual never ending maintenance and uh, tomorrow I'll show you the um, that exhaust system uh, put together on the floor because um, yeah it's pretty neat uh, we're just about to start the land guarding um, but just uh, mainly for the cab area at the front here yeah, there's a lot of mud don't know if you see there's not lots of mud compared to most vans but for my standard as you can see that's all kind of covered in mud around there so we just want to jet wash it all back make sure there's no mud so it's going on a nice painted surface so jet wash it all and then um, and then land a guard it all and then call that done for the day and then tomorrow we're just going to put the exhaust together and then I'm going to give my friend with hammer the uh, stuff well, I'm up in Anglesey and this was last in Warwickshire now it's here this beast of a landy Range Rover that was what we put the engine in I put little clips in another video if you're keen follower I know a few of you are Land Rover enthusiasts too so um, yeah I'll try and keep you posted on that but for now it's just something on the trailer um, had the engine cover off because it's easier to get to the exhaust mounts down there if you look through the existing silencer anyway um, let's see if we can get this can you see you can see that little square in there zoom you in it's kind of like an evens so really that's all just that's just one baffle slap bang in the middle of this and then the rest the new one's actually longer than this only by about 50 mil or so um, but this one's obviously a lot fatter that one I'll show you it now so this is the new one the plans changed as it always does so basically this clamps onto the um, downpipe where the flexi is and uh, it's not this clamp is too too far that way so got the standard clamp and then the bracket the hanger clamp which needs a bolt through and then we've had to I didn't realize the silencer came with flared ends as well so I've had to cut the flare end off this because these were 350 lengths flared both ends so cut the flare off that so then the exhaust clamps over that then this is the silencer and then here we've got the hanger which goes onto the new mount which I moved um, again with a clamp I know it's an old rusty one but they're they're the Mercedes hangers so I just thought reuse them and then this what I was gonna have is a 350 length between the uh, flexi and the silencer then a 350 length between the silencer and the 45 as I say because I didn't realize it came with flared ends but it did but it comes out quite in the middle of the chassis so I wanted to extend it anyway when I realized how short it would be and luckily it worked out this way so it worked out for the best I'm just going to cut that off so you can't see this ugly flared end um, my friend's got a chop saw so we'll take that to his tomorrow uh, metal chop saw and then I cut a nice and 90 and square So, good afternoon everyone. This morning I painted Rose's cab. So now, there's no red stripe. And it's all, oh well there's a little bit there I missed. Never mind. The paint is there but it's probably dried up now. Um, yeah, so I painted all that. And it looks brand new. <laughs> new again, because there was weird dark marks here and stuff. And yeah, I just thought I'd do the whole cab with a, a third coat, a once over. Um, and then, the welded hole is now, this has all been lanner guarded now and uh, it went on really nice, don't really have any before and afters because I plastered everything in it and I kind of did two coats on everything and we're still left with half a bottle so that's good um, and I put the Denitrol ML 
um, and I'll link everything I've used in the description but I put the Denitrol ML in the in the cavity wax inside the chassis again this morning as well and then I also use the Lanagard wax greasy stuff to put on the leaf springs which um, prevents them from corroding too much as well but all of this is have it and it's kind of dried now and it just goes a bit tacky and once it's fully dried it says you can jet wash it up to 2000 psi which is like 150 bar or something like that um, but yeah you can jet wash it not super strong but you can and yeah it's all been nicely jet washed and lanagarded everywhere I can possibly get it and then all that grease stuff I put on all the bolt ends as well to stop them and on the handbrake cable up there so yeah and then that's the exhaust mount I think I showed you and that got a load of lanagard on yeah this is the cavity wax and it comes with a 600 mil long um, like flexible hose that you put inside the chassis and then pull back through and this is the denitrol ml so ml is there and it's like a brown color but yeah it seems pretty good stuff uh, really watery and it supposedly displaces water as well so I've got enough holes in my chassis that I was able to do the whole chassis um, without drilling any holes so yeah start from the back and just work my way forward kind of did two coats on that as well because I was left with loads um, and I didn't want to carry any around so yeah, all of this has been done not well not all of this actually but the back of the plate here has all been done um, it kind of makes it look black and all glossy um, because I had the sh satin chassis paint before so yeah, if you have a look in the front wheel arch you can see where I've done it there and it's, it doesn't make it go black so if you paint it onto a light surface it just kind of stays the same but if you paint it onto black and there's brown rust patches it kind of makes it look black but as you can see there's a red patch there and it's quite clearly red and same way that bit that's come off when I've jet washed it but all this black in here is the denitrol um, and I can't remember, I think I did the chassis paint too, but basically many, many layers of rust preventative maintenance is required for such an old rusty van. And obviously these leaf spring carriers here like to rot out, so I've plastered that in it as well. Um, and made sure that was all jet washed and clean yesterday as well. Uh, and we left it a day before actually applying the Lanigard. Yeah, as I say, looking like a new van. It was really easy to apply and I like it because you've just got the bottle and um, I was really, <laughs> I'd just done the Denitrol, which is a shaking can and you got to shake it and stuff. And I kept trying to shake this and going, actually this doesn't make a difference. And you can use it upside down or the right way up because it's not a pressured can, it just relies on mechanical. If you've got a lot to do, it does get a bit achy on your fingers. But yeah, Joe seemed to use a whole thing of this, but I guess he's got the massive floor that I know he did and uh, all the sills and the outriggers that like to go, so yeah bit more body I've just got two wheel arches and a chassis to do um, and yeah all done inside out fresh coat of paint on the on the cab and just to be honest looking really smart again and uh, yeah well happy but yeah because I've still got half of that left over I'm probably going to do it in like September October um, before I head up to Scotland um, and I'm going to move my MOT to September so probably about around September time ready which is like a few months but yeah just to make sure because Scottish winter is going to be hardcore on the van so I've got to make sure it's all up to scratch So, good morning everyone, it's now the next day. Um, I'm just going to say, I've just been reading through the Lanigard stuff there. Um, it's really nice actually, it's just a little family run business still. Um, and it's been going for um, ages, but yeah, I really like the stuff. And uh, I'm going to put a little link in the description uh, where you can get a bit off and I can get a bit off. It's a referral program that they do. So yeah, feel free to use that in the description. 
um, and then the exhaust <laughs> that's that's awesome so uh, I did a little drive-by shot um, and a little driving shot out the window down a quiet lane so um, yeah you get to hear that and it it's it's nice because it's not too loud but it's got a nice hum but yeah that's gonna be it for this video exhaust fixed and van lanagar did and welded and stuff and yeah it's all nice and solid again and while I've been here I've ordered 450 pounds worth of stuff off Autodog <laughs> so yeah that's uh, the next few months that's stuff to get it ready for its MOT because um, there's some bushes that are wearing down the anti-roll bar bushes are almost non-existent um, so yeah and I've also got front cranks oil seal and I've got a new alternator to hopefully shut this one up and it means I can change the bracket because it's got a little crack in it I spotted a couple of weeks ago but it's not causing any issue and I've got the bracket now so if it does go no big deal but yeah I don't want to take that belt off twice um, and I've got a smaller belt this time so it should be tighter so hopefully again won't squeal so yeah proper Lucas alternator costs nearly 200 quid um, compared to my 100 quid eBay one and um, and the alternator bracket with a tighter belt it should should shut up and not squeak because um, yeah that's annoying and it didn't squeak when I got the van it's after I did the, the alternator swap and the new belt so definitely something I've done so if you did like the video make sure you hit that like button drop a little comment down below let me know what you thought about the video and make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week